Hello and welcome to AI for Powered Assessments. We're going to be talking about how you can save time this school year with this new feature in Kami. And so I want you to think about how much time per week does it typically take you to spend manually making and grading assessments? I know for me, when I was an intervention specialist, it took me around five to 10 hours. I would create the test, and then after I created the test, because I had uh, different students on an IEP, I'd have to follow their IEP and either modify the test, or I would have to even make adaptions, right? Use accessibility or accommodations to support my students. So I know for me, it was taking around five to 10 hours to support my students. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk you through three different ways that you can save time when creating these assessments for your students. So right here, I have this document. And on this document, we're going to first find a resource. I went ahead and used this resource right here. So feel free to use the same resource I have, or you can go over to your Google Drive and find a resource on your Google Drive. It can be a PDF, a Google slide, or even a Google document. And on this resource, I'm gonna go ahead and click open with Kami. If it's a PDF, you're gonna open up that PDF and click open with Kami. You're able to use any of these resources with Kami. Once you open up that resource, feel free to come on here and you can add a sticker to check that off to know we're done. Next, we're gonna make it accessible. So many times with my students, I would have to repeat the directions and I learned that I just needed to include a video or maybe an, even an audio clip to really help guide my students through this lesson. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to comments and I'm gonna screen capture. I'm gonna record my screen to provide those directions for my students so I can focus on providing support and instructions for them. Hey class, welcome. Today we're gonna to be reading about the life of a tree. Couple things though, when you read this passage, what I would love for you to do is you're gonna read it about two to three times. And so first I want you to use the read aloud and I want you to listen. Trees are an important part of our planet the text being read aloud. So that's the first thing. I just want you to read it the first time. The next time you read it, I want you to use the markup tool. And I want you to highlight important information that might stick out about this topic. You can also use the comments to say your notes and ideas over to the side. Um, that could be really, really helpful. And then once you're done with that, there are some questions down below. And so first, I just want you to do that first part of reading it once, listen to it, and then come through with the uh, markup tool, highlight important details, use the comment tool to take notes. And then you're gonna watch the next audio clip to hear the next directions. So there's my video to support my students with those directions. Another way that I could make this a little bit more accessible is maybe I come in to add media and I could even insert an image about trees just to help my students with that knowledge of trees. And I could insert this onto the document. So again, I want you to go ahead, either include a video or audio or walk through some of these accessibility features that could support your students on this task. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to add media and use a sticker to say, hey, we're done with that. We've made it accessible by adding a video. Next is we're gonna enhance these questions. Typically, again, it would take me hours to grade and look through all of these student examples. But what I can do now is I can use questions AI. Questions AI is over here on the side and I click it and I can either convert, generate, or create from scratch. If I create from scratch, my students um, will be able to answer questions live. So using any of these models, my students will see the questions over on their dashboard. And with, 